Hey, what's up, guys? Chaos Theory here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a build software that is like the best thing in the world for Guild Wars. It's called PawnEd2. It was originally a German software, but it was ported to English a few years ago. I don't remember when. But this thing is the thing to use for build editing out of Guild Wars. It is amazing. It is just, it's mind blowing how good this is. So, I'm going to have a download link in the description, so go and check that out. Um, so, how do you use it? Well, let me start up Guild Wars. One second. Sorry. Okay. I start up Guild Wars. Now it's probably going to be super laggy. Is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So let's shrink this a little bit. Don't need it that big. Okay. So this little hierarchy and everything is exactly what you see when you hit the load from template. It's the exact same thing. Like if I go into the running we we'll do the same thing, good great meta. I bet in the good folder there's going to be those builds. And there is. And <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it just it works pretty well. So yeah, you have the entire hierarchy of your entire builds and um it's just all there, like immediately when we're uh when you load it up so that's really nice um yeah so just to get into that um there's a lot of features in this i can't really get into all of them but i'll try to okay so let's just get into a build like assassin runner first of all uh when you click on a build it gives you a nice like little sneak peek with all of the skills exactly like how it would be on um PVX wiki and um yeah it just it's very intuitive and you go into it you have all the skills you can um filter the skills so you can filter the skills um by pretty much anything they have tribute campaign energy casting time recharge time description if it's uh, has sacrifice if it has um, energy upkeep if it's PV only if it's an elite skill um, it you can just search for skills really quickly that way um, you have your primary and secondary professions you have your attributes and then you have your your builds um, so yeah this is how you create your build um you just put down random stuff it automatically make checks your skills so that um it's actually viable into a actual pvp setting so you can only have three pv only's and one elite skill and it keeps that in account it also checks your um your uh attributes and when you go over it gives you the little red mark thing and that says you're going over and why are you doing that so yeah that's nice but if you do want to make some like funny builds like i remember there's like the poke the baby shit and stuff uh you can just unclick this and then you can have fun with it and make super awesome shadow form build that's never gonna happen so yeah um the nice thing these tabs you might think like why how do you close these just double click them and they'll go away so yeah that's basically the skill templates but that's not all this thing also can deal with equipment templates i know it's pretty cool so let's see you have all the pvp stuff it it stays within the PvP stuff general in general. Um, it's just to give you. It, yeah, it's basically like, you know, it's for um, PvP characters. So 
You can go into offhand, headgear, chest armor, runes, and everything. You get into really, really fine, like finite details into it. it. Shows you your um, health and energy through the the builds, and it keeps everything into account. So I'm a normally a warrior, but I have energy plus ten. And if I add a staff wrapping of fortitude, it gives me five ten. And you know, if I add a um, hail and hardy, it shows that I have the thirty five energy. I mean, it it's just it's just amazing. Um. So yeah. Um. So that's building equipment templates, but that's not all. I mean, you have different ways to set it up. But that's a little bit obvious. Um, you can make your folder hierarchies this way, and uh, it's really intuitive. You can save the templates. And the thing that I like the most about it is that let's just say you get a template like. Just say you got like somebody sent you an awesome template, which is the build I'm running, but it happens, and it just oh right that doesn't work. I'm a retard. So they send it to you, and you're like, whoa, how do I get this in here? You don't have to save it through Guild Wars. Just copy the template code and paste it in, and boom, it's right there. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, that's uh pretty awesome um what else can you do um i'll get into that later so you can copy or paste in um like template code as new document i got into that also if you have um let's just say this build just picked it up randomly um Wow, okay. You can copy the template code. Oh, whoops. Gives you the template code of that build. You can also copy the chat code right here. Look at that. You can send it to people. Uh, you can also copy, let's see, you can copy all this stuff if you have um, a PvP character. You can copy the skill names, and I'm. This is more for like text documents. So like, it gives you all the that, which is kind of nice, I guess. I wouldn't really use it, but um, you can also get the attributes in there. Um, let's see, and then the last one, which is uh, copy GWBBC code. Um or Guild Wars bulletin board code or something like that I forget what it is anyways so let me get on to my site chaosrunning.com uf.com which has a form on it which has GWBB code installed and I can login first of all that's what sorry doesn't like me okay let's get back now come on come on I'm really impatient today okay so you can like make your make your title and then let's just say you want to give them this build uh, you can give it to them. So, you can just go to co uh, copy GWBBC code, paste into here. Looks like that. It looks a lot like um, GW or PVX code, if you know what that is. And then, boom! This is the GWBBC code and work. It has the builds. Um, just perfectly lined up. You go over here and it gives you the shadow arts and fire magic. If I had an equipment template, it would show that as well. It shows that it is a PVE build. And also, if you click on this, it'll give you the chat code, which is really nice for forums. So I try to install that on all of my forums. Um, I don't know about you, but it's pretty sweet. Um, mm, 
production or um, updates on this has been going really really slow like barely ever happens anymore like um, I think this one I got like really exclusively and it has the Dervis update in there but it doesn't even have the shadow form um, update in there so it just it takes a long time to update the skills and that anyways so that's pretty nice um, you can rename delete files I mean a lot of this you can really understand what it would do normally um, you can choose PVE and PVP um, launch guild wars windows okay so now let's get into the online stuff the really nice thing like the really really nice thing you can connect to the online forums and let's just say um, you can create your own online channel apparently this one was already taken damn I'm good anyways so you can mod modify this build and other people who are in um, like whoever you invite into the same area can go into and modify the build with you um, and yeah it's great for collaboration on PVE or like um, speed clear builds and everything I mean this is something that really sells this to me it's amazing especially for like guild um, GVG and stuff like that um, you can also always password protect your file so that nobody can see your super secret GVG builds that you won't you'll be like a surprise for the next tournament or whatever so that's pretty nice that's a real selling point and yeah I mean yeah okay so after going through that um, that's a pretty big um, feature another thing is online updates you can update the application like right here figured out a hey, I need a <sighs> uh, update on the system and it updates it for me and now I'm on the latest version and then I can also update the skill data which um, I probably haven't updated it for the elementalist update so I needed to do this anyways so yeah now my skills are updated and oh my god it is just a blast like oh. sorry I'm just admiring it so yeah please definitely pick this up and definitely just do what you can and by the way you can like click on a text file with the build and it'll put it in but that's really unnecessary so yeah so please rate comment subscribe and favorite and I hope you have a very wonderful day